problem with you putting the strap on David Arquette? Because I really nobody. You know yeah, why? Well, be, because you know why? Those... Because it, it made sense. You pop culturally got so much coverage from that, and and, and 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 the boy, like a guy like Mark Calloway, a guy like Mark Calloway and Kevin Nash would understand the business that we're fucking putting asses in the seats and eyeballs on the screens, and Arquette's not going to have a fucking you know a seven week run at the strap. It's going to be a fucking. It's going to be a one and done gimmick at right. best. <laughs> and he's going to be on the Tonight Show, and it's going to yep. be on David Letterman, and we're going to yep. get that many motherfuckers. You know, we we we're in the fucking entertainment business, and so I yep. I never thought the Arquette or the Rodman or any of that shit was hokey. I thought it I thought it put it to the mainstream more you know more so and more believable than other I mean Vince incorporated Muhammad Ali and and in yep. WrestleMania, Mike Tyson, uh yep. Liberace. I mean yep. all 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 <laughs> right? That's the uh, bro that that that's the wrestling purist who have convinced themselves that wrestling is real. So they they don't understand the entertainment aspect, like you said, pop culture, casual yeah. wrestling fans. They'll never understand that. The woman that lives in Fort Wayne, Indiana, knows who David Arquette is. The woman that lives in Fort Wayne, Indiana, didn't know who Disco Inferno was. So, <laughs> so, so, bro, like... you know, the next morning, bro, the next morning, okay, we put the belt on Arquette. The next morning, I wake up. Go down to the front desk, you know, get a cup of coffee. And at that time, the USA Today. Right. Bro, it was on the cover of the USA Today. And how many the times had the WCW been on the right. cover of even with Hogan, with NWO, with, you know, arguably probably the most successful franchise in WCW's history would have been NWO, right? I mean, Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so we've agreed to that. That never made the front right. page of the USA Today. For Bro, the next day, the next week, he goes on the movie set. Yeah. Yeah. Free of charge. Uh, okay. Like, yeah, that, that killed WCW. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much.